it seems remarkable that this Henry James novel actually is pretty still translatable to modern day. Um, obviously, it's been modernized in, in some ways, but um, is there anything that you or the screenwriters have to change to make it make sense? It's interesting. We've, we've read an anecdote, and we assume it's true, but <laughs> that Henry James was at a dinner party in London where he was living, and he heard this story of this couple who was divorced, and they were going to be sharing custody of their young daughter, and he thought it was the craziest thing he'd ever heard of. Like, it was just such a bad idea and so outlandish. Like, how could you possibly split, a, you know, custody of a, of a little girl? Was your daughter. So that was the inspiration for writing the novel, was the, this kind of satire of this ridiculous situation you heard about. And, um, you know, cut to 100 years later, and that's the most common situation in the world. Um, and yet, you know, a lot of the, you know, kind of basic, kind of human, um, you know, his, his keen eye for, you know, human foibles, I guess, and, and the basic, Human relationships in his book um, actually translated very, you know, kind of whole cloth into a very modern story um, that just has a completely different context, but and yet still has so much truth in it. We have a question. Very beautiful to look at, as well as you know all the, the acting from your beautiful atmosphere and uh, Julia Moore and others. Um, what I was interested in is uh, the the look of the film and how well you use the the whole screen. It's it's lovely to see that in a theater where uh, the action really stretches out. And how did you make decisions about um, what uh, format you were using and, and how to use all of that space? Very nice front row observation. <laughs> um, well, that shape, you know, that's that's the that's the wide screen or two three five, you know, aspect rate. They call it the aspect ratio of the of the frame. Um, we all of our films actually we use that. Um, we we're attracted to it. We like what happens with you know space in, in that frame. But uh, you know, our I mean, our uh, production designer. Scott's sister, I mean, Kelly is here tonight. Kelly, he, where are you, Kelly? <laughs> yeah. Kelly designed the film. She's designed most of our work and has been working with us since we've been making short films. And we talked a lot about, you know, the stuff of Macy's world, you know, and, and what what that might be. And we, we talked a lot with Kelly and with the costumer about color and what the cinematographer Giles mentions, who we've also made several films with um, about light. And as I was saying earlier, one of the things that we wanted to do, or that we, we thought was important to do with the movie, was you know, in trying to convey the child's perspective, try to build the feeling of the child, was to keep it light in a sense, you know, to keep it feeling buoyant, even in the, in the moments when that were most tense and the moments that were most you know, difficult for her. So, you know, color and light and you know, design were were very important to us. A lot of people have reacted to the film as being extremely real and very natural, which we think it is as well. Um, and that comes from a lot from the acting style and from the actors themselves. Um, but we tried to design a very, you know, kind of specific kind of background for it um, in order to try and convey some of that lightness. <laughs> 